Alright, this is Mark Boy 316 and today I've got another video for you guys. Today it's going to be wrestlers that you rarely hear about. Why? Because you always hear about the Hogans, Randy Savage, you always hear about the Ultimate Warriors, you hear about Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H, Austin, uh, Triple H, uh, The Rock, Undertaker, but you never hear about The Rock, Don Morocco, Paul Orndorff, uh, who else? Uh, Superfly Jimmy Snooker. You rarely hear about anybody unless they're involved in a feud with a big name guy. Let's see, let's take uh, Paul Orndorff. He was a great technical wrestler, he was a great heel. He battled cancer in his, in his life and beat it. So that was, he was fighter in the ring and out of the ring. He had, uh, was at the main event of WrestleMania 1. Main event of WrestleMania, it wasn't the main event, but was at WrestleMania 2. Uh, great matches with Hogan. At the big event in, at the C&E in, uh, in Toronto, over like 70,000 fans. Well, it was him and Hogan for the title in the main event. Awesome. And uh, he faced he fought Don Morocco at WrestleMania 2. And he was in the main event at WrestleMania 1. It was him and Piper against Hogan and Mr. T. But uh, nobody ever like talks about him because he was not considered really like a big name guy, like Hogan or Savage. But he was in big feuds. Uh, he had a few with Piper. I remember him and Piper had a match. Went the double count out. They fought all the way back to the locker room, like uh, brawling everywhere. Um, I think Paul, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff was great. Won the tag titles in WCW, TV title. So he was pretty good. And of course, you had the Rock Don Morocco. Great feuds with Rick Steamboat, two time Intercontinental Champion. He won, he wrestled in ECW also. He was a big guy. And pretty agile for a big guy, too. He had some great matches too with Greg Valentine. I've seen him like Pedro Morales. Uh, of course, the cage match with Superfly. But yeah. Uh, who else? You don't hear much talk about. Uh, hmm, let me think of somebody. Rick DeMono Artel. Him and Tio Santana were strike force. Pretty good tag team. Won the tag titles once. Him and Tony Garrido won it five times. And. Uh, he was former AWA champion, WCW TV champion, but Rick Martel was a great technical wrestler. I liked him. He had, he had some great feuds with Tito Santana, had uh, uh, feuds with Booker T in WCW, had feud with uh, Jake, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, the, the infamous blindfold match he had at WrestleMania 7 with uh, Jake Roberts. So yeah, he had Boston Crab as a finisher. The guy, was, the guy was pretty good in the ring. Rick Martel, uh, who else? Uh, let's see, who else? You rarely hear talk about. Haku. He was teamed with Under the Giant, was part of the Heenan family. He was king because he had beaten the Holly Ways for the, the crown to be called king. You rarely hear about him. He was in Faces Greater in WCW, but you rarely hear about him because he was never really in a big high profile match, you could say. He was never in a main event that I can think of. Maybe on Nitro here and there, but he was never big. He was tag champ, like I said, with Andre. And uh, was a good wrestler. My God. That super kick he used to do. My God. And he's one of the toughest men around. I think I've seen videos of him getting uh, pepper sprayed in the face. Nothing. Holy crap, he's a tough, tough as will be. Uh, who else? Uh, the Rouge, the attack teams, the Rouge brothers. Great technical tag team. They were great in the ring. They almost won the tag titles one time, but because of outside interference, they had to return the belts back to the Heart Foundation. But they were a great tag team. One of them, Jack, be became the Mountie, won the IC title, three tag titles. But uh, the tag, it's a tag team you rarely hear about because you always hear about Heart Foundation. Demolition, Legion of Doom, the Stunner Brothers, you rarely hear about the Russo Brothers. So yeah, a lot of, like, gee, there were some good tag teams back in the day, but you never heard about them. Heroin Express was a good tag team, but they always lost. They, you rarely see them win big matches. Heroin Express was good. Paul Diamond, Paul Diamond was Kato, and uh, Pat Tanaka. They were a good team, Heroin Express. Uh, who else they had? They had uh, tag team. Let's see if we go with tag teams again. 
The Beverly Brothers, Bo and Blake, they were a good tag team. I like their finisher. They used to like throw the guy in the air and spike him on their head. And uh, they were managed by the genius. They were a good tag team. Just they never won anything. They never were involved in really any big feuds. But yeah, they were a good tag team. But they were never pushed correctly. Uh, yeah, so those are just some of the tag teams and wrestlers that I think deserve at least to have a documentary put out on them or at least something. Like, I have matches, I got a lot of matches, but like Mr. Wonderful, Del Morocco, Superfly, Great Valentine, just people like that, but they never come out with DVDs of them for some reason. That would be cool, actually, to see DVDs of them. Rick Rude, another guy you never see a DVD of on stuff like that. That would be awesome. At least Rick Rude was US and World Champion. He was like a, he was like a big name guy, you could say. But yeah, so just wanted to put that out there. Maybe you guys know some people that I've already talked about that you already don't see. They were involved in big feuds, but we never really talked about after that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.